Hey everybody, what's up, what's going on? And today I want to talk about the end of the world and the fact that it won't be happening at least any time any of us uh, that have even the potential to listen to this will... Okay, that's not true, because I don't know how long this will be preserved for. But uh, any of us that are currently alive... Uh, I don't think any of us will even begin to see the end of time. Uh, and I think it's a little bit um, narcissistic, I guess, is uh, not uh, for lack of a better word. There is such a better word out there that I'm not thinking of. But uh, for lack of a better term, I'm going to use narcissistic. And the world has been around for, is it 3.4 billion years? And we think that it's going to end in our lifetime. We're, you know, we're usually around about, you know, like 75 years. And we're going to think that in the 3.4 billion life uh, lifespan, not even lifespan, of the current life of this world that is going to die in our um that is going to end, you know, the, the civilization is going to be uninhabitable, that the earth will become uninhabitable, uh, you know, in our lifetime. And I, and I feel like that's just, uh, it's a very bold statement. Uh, I also kind of feel like uh, being able to predict the end of the world, you know, like the, the ice caps are melting and uh, the temperatures are rising and all these things like that is, uh, I, I, I feel like it's, it's like when you think you have cancer or you think you have something small, so you Google it to see what it is and, find, and you find out you have cancer. I feel like it's kind of like doing that, like Googling something you think you have on the internet. I think that's exactly what it is. We have all these tools that can do all these measurements and and instruments, and they're just saying, oh, well, this is changing, and then this is changing this way, and this is changing this way. And I, I, I feel like... Um, I feel if, like I said I feel like we're just googling our cancer so to say it's that's this is what it could be but this isn't you know what we have and, and you know a big example I think uh, especially you know pollution everybody talks a lot about pollution and um, the, especially you know I'm not saying that we don't pollute in this day and age but in let's go back to the industrial revolution you know in the 1800s and the I mean the uh, yeah the 1800s and the 1900s or you know the turn of the century around that area um, so well, I guess that was just one happened. Okay, anyway, but um, if you look at that time period, there are all these towns, you know, in London, you know, in various cities all over the United States, you know, even the one that I'm currently in, Pittsburgh, and you know, all these other different places and stuff like that, is they were they were known to be terrible polluters. That they, if you you would not be able to look into the sky and even see the sun, that there was so much pollution in the air and there was no type of regulation for anything so there was you know not just air pollution there was all sorts of other pollution that maybe that those people at the time didn't even know that they were doing there's just been pollution going on now and we have so much you know regulation and i understand that of how many more people are in the are you know currently in the world and how much more uh you know that might scale up something like pollution but at the same time we are way more responsible as humans about pollution than we have ever been in the history of time if you think about it just because now we may pollute a lot more than say we were polluting in year one but uh we still have more regulations <laughs> but I, I, I maybe that's a terrible way to look at it but i i we are the most regulated we've ever been. It, 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 it's not. Tr it's just, that's not not true. So that is true. <laughs> Double negatives. But um, yeah. And I, I feel like because of that, uh, we are not experiencing the same decline in our uh, universe or our world as we may think that we uh, are. And. I feel like it's not something that should, you know, environmental impact. It's not something that should be tossed into the wind and say, ah, forget it. We, you know, we've been around for millions of years and we're not going to change anything. I understand that eventually things break. And I understand that the population that we have on planet Earth right now is, you know, something that we've, you know, never even thought would happen before. But, um,. I would just like to spend the end of this video talking about various times where other people thought the world was going to end, and all of them, every single claim has been false, obviously. Uh, I was going through a list of, you know, people that, uh, people, and it has their date, uh, the person who claimed that the world would end, the date that they claimed it would end, and then when they predicted that it would, it would end, and they, you know, of course it's Wikipedia, so there are many references, but if you look on this list, well, of course, number one, a lot of it is, you know, people in the, uh, in the, in the Catholic Church, a lot of popes, a lot of, you know, things like that, uh, and, you know, a lot of people in, you know, Italy area, because that's, you know, a very important world power at one point, um, in our history, but a lot of these claims are made by Christopher Columbus, and it's funny to see how Christopher Columbus, uh, how he's so revered in, you know, American culture, obviously, 
but uh, you know, there's so much that we don't talk about him, and I think that that's pretty funny. But um, yeah, I, I, just to wrap up really quickly, I think that people that believe that the world's going to be in soon are are being ridiculous, and they need to think with their heads and realize how long um, the how long we've been around, how long the Earth's been around, and how long it's not been. Uh, destroyed uh anyway thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it leave your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you guys later